Right folks, a little bit of a tip here for you uh, you guys that are tuning your own guns at home and fitting the various dropping kits that are available on the market. Uh, we've got a factory spring here and this is out of a way out. Bronze bank in now. I'm just going to get a pair of calipers and I'm going to give you a reading. 14.03 mil ID so you get your new lovely tight fitting guide and you squeeze it in there and you think you know the world's fine and you've got a lovely fitting tight guide now what I'm going to do this area where the spring's been chopped and then it's been collapsed at factory and then it's been ground So, the tool I use is obviously high pressure <coughs> die grinder with a tungsten cutter. You can use a Dremel uh, or a drill with some form of cutter in it. I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to deburr the end coil. Move <coughs> it round. Just that little end coil, take the burr off the end of it where it's been cut and I'm going to take an onyx cutting wheel and a grinder and take the same end I'm looking at the sparks that are coming off against the flat blade and I don't want to see a gap that tells me that the end of the spring is nice and flat and I'm not putting a lot of pressure on that we don't need a perfectly polished edge on that it's uh, pointless because we're going to be putting it on a brass slip washer which is self lubricating now we'll take another reading reset now bearing in mind I've not took any metal off the inside of the spring 14.25 push that set of calipers into that 14.12 get a proper reading there 14.15 14.35 once you've deburred the end coil your nice tight fitting guide isn't really nice tight fitting guide because beyond the end coil where it's been collapsed and faced off the internal diameter of your springs bigger so really you've got a bit of a false sense of security by thinking you want a tight guide which is why as well a lot of the guides that I get here the plastic ones uh, PTFE or Dorian ones have a deep gouge going down them like a screw thread where people have forced these things on so before you start putting your guide in a drill and reducing the diameter of your guide just do that little bit of work on your spring. Hope it helps. Jack Knight.